Sanders was the uh, founder of the St. Patrick's Day Parade 43 years ago. And um, he marched down the street by himself with, a, with an Irish flag, and that's how the parade started. There's a property down by the railroad tracks now that's called Buddha Sky Bar. It used to be called Powers Lounge. Rory was the bar owner of Powers Lounge, and he started with a little green beer and a pig on a leash. It has now grown to the point where you see it today. Reggae St. Patrick's Day, and then last year we decided to make it a firefighter recognition parade. I think that has to do with some of the reason that it grew, in addition to the Dublin uh, Fire Brigade who came over here also. And we have attracted this year firefighters from 70 different jurisdictions are represented here today in this parade. the Dublin, Ireland pipe and drum band last year, so they just decided let's go for an international theme. So we have firefighters from four countries um, participating in the parade this year. involved with the St. Patrick's Day Parade with the fire service with the pipes and drums, the Palm Beach County Firefighters Pipes and Drums. Three years ago it was supposed to be a couple of guys riding in the back of a fire engine and it has just blown up and escalated into this. service for 16 years that died in a tragic car accident so we've expanded it this year to have our police officers from Palm Beach County um, march in his honor uh, so this may become a you know first response kind of uh, parade in the future you never know it's a huge economic impact on our downtown it's so over a six million dollar uh, economic impact for the three hours of the parade to our local businesses and restaurants. <laughs> so what it does is it brings families to our town, but it also really populates our restaurants, our bars, and all of our retail establishments along the avenue. We inject millions of dollars into our community from this parade. 
What you'll see on the street today is a beautiful mosaic patchwork quilt of community unity, and it's the fire service that's bringing it. All of the towns, cities, counties, states, and countries are represented by the fire service on the street with the patches, banners, flags, apparatus, and personnel marching in the parade. And this has never been done on this scale in the state of Florida, and we're very proud that we brought it to our county, Palm Beach County. St. Lucie County. We're here for the Irish and the firefighters. Yes. They protect and serve. Fear and firefighters. Fear and Only firefighters. Only way to go. It's a really good combination, and it's hot. Maybe the firefighters will take some pictures. Firefighters. Firefighters? Oh, okay. Oh, firefighters. The fire service side of it, uh, I am the organizer and I've gotten all the fire departments and the apparatus and the personnel from all over the country and internationally. We have a, a gentleman here from Australia, he's a 38 year old, his name is uh, Wayne Clark and he's an Australian firefighter. came 36 hours to get over here and six connecting flights, so we're very proud to, to have him with us. because they do a fabulous job and we thank you. Amen. We love firefighters to the you know they help us out every day. Thank you. I come from Dublin, Ireland. I was at St. Paddy's Day parade here last year and this year we brought 11 people from Dublin and Athlone in Ireland to join in the celebrations. It was so good. We're here today, you know, participating in the St. Patrick's Day parade. Uh, this is the first time uh, that we've been here and we're on duty today and it's a pretty interesting story because uh, just opposite from us is Miami-Dade Fire Rescue and the officer on that truck is my brother and I'm the officer, the captain on this ladder truck so it's a pretty good coincidence that two counties away the two trucks are together and they're both uh, brothers. Great day to be Irish. Happy St. Patrick's Day everyone. I'm, you do a great job on the firefighters. <laughs> 